everyone, and welcome back to Tween Scene. I'm Lauren, and today I'm going to lead you through a Salto snake craft. Let's get into it! For today's craft, you're going to need your container of salt and flour, as well as your paint and small paintbrush. And from home, you're going to need a mixing spoon and a one tablespoon spoon. To start, open up your container of flour and salt, and we're going to add two tablespoons of water to it. Once you've added your two tablespoons of water, mix it up. Once it begins to form a doughy sort of consistency, you can scrape all of it off the spoon and mix it with your hands. It's pretty sticky to start, but the more you work with it, the less sticky it becomes. Keep working it and kneading it until it gets to a smooth consistency. Once you have your dough to a smooth consistency, you can start forming your snakes. To bake them, you're going to want to use a cookie sheet with a sheet of tin foil on top. So I recommend having your tin foil out right now so that you can put your salt dough snakes on it as soon as you form them. The easiest way is to take a pinch off, roll it into a snake shape, and then kind of bend it the way you want to when you lay it on top of the tin foil, just like this. The salt dough is a little tricky to work with, and if yours is still pretty sticky, you might want to add some more flour from home. If it's too dry, you might want to add a little bit of water. But if you have the right consistency, you can just kind of pinch it into the right shape. And it doesn't have to be perfect, we're going to paint over it. Keep grabbing sections and making snakes until you have as many as you want. I think I'm going to do four. didn't really work. I don't think I'm going to make a coiled one. Once you have all your salt dough snakes formed, it's time to bake them. You might need an adult's assistance for this. You're going to bake them in an oven or a toaster oven at 250 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes. They're gonna turn a light brown color. Very, very light. Once your snakes are done baking and they're completely cooled off, it's time to paint. You can paint them however you want. You have three colors to pick from and if you have more paint at home, go for that. I'm gonna paint one of my snakes dark gray and the other three with the tan base color, and then go back and add some patterns.
forget to paint the bottom of all of your snakes. Once you're done with the base coat on all of your snakes, go back and add the patterns. I think for this one, I'm going to do two lines all the way down the back. For this tan snake, I'm going to add some gray diamonds on its back. I think this one's going to get some stripes. This one's also going to get spots, but I'm going to add black spots too. Don't forget to paint eyes on your snakes.
Once your paint's dry, you're done. Joining me today to make these super cool salto snakes. Make sure to tune in two weeks from now to make yarn dolls. See you then.